Hi, my name is Alex Casena, and I'm the events coordinator here at the Clearwater Historical Society. Today we will be having Vic Piano. He will be speaking about the Cigar City Contours, the Elegance. So I hope you enjoy this presentation. Thing. Well, I'm not going to use a teleprompter, but uh, I will tell you first and foremost, thank you very much to the Clearwater Historical Society for inviting me. And thank you also to the Tampa Bay Automobile Museum for suggesting that you contact me. So I, will, I will be brief and I will tell you a little bit about the Cigar City Concord d'Elegance, which, uh, here we are, right here. So, in 19, 19, I'm dating myself, in 2016, I got the idea that the Tampa Bay area needs an upscale automobile event. And having been to concourses most of my life, I had a fairly good idea of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to put it together. Well, I will tell you that having been in the broadcast business for most of my life and created events and put events on television, Setting up and getting ready to do the Cigar City Concord d'Elegance was one of the most difficult things I have ever attempted. And the biggest problem I have had is getting people in the market to understand that a Concord d'Elegance is not a Friday night at Burger King car show. So, where did I, I'll start again, okay, from where I was. So, people do not realize that a Concorde d'Elegance is an upscale event that features museum quality automobiles. And so we did it, originally we were going to be at a golf course in Palm Harbor, however, that didn't come to pass because they were unrealistic to deal with. And we ended up the first year at Starkey Ranch in uh, Odessa, Florida. And it was a beautiful venue, but it had no infrastructure, which is necessary for an event. So, from my television background, and I have a company now called Thoroughbred Racing Network, I went to the folks at Tampa Bay Downs and negotiated with them to hold the event there. So the first event that we did at Tampa Bay Downs was in 2019, which was our second year. Then in 2020, we all know what happened, and COVID killed the car shows, along with so many other events. So what we decided to do for 2021 is expand the event to two days. So we are Saturday and Sunday, November 13th and 14th, again at Tampa Bay Downs. And Saturday, we are calling Cigars and Cars, which is an accelerated, elevated, Cars and Coffee event. And Sunday is the Concorde d'Elegance, which is all museum quality automobiles. Now, we do not charge the car owners a fee to participate. However, they have to submit their vehicles. Our selection committee looks at them, determines them, and then we send them back an invitation. Should they decide to accept it, they print out their invitation and they come to the event. We've also introduced three new specific concourse events, which are the T-Bird Sanctuary for Thunderbirds from 1955 to 1995, the Tri-5 Tribe, which is 55, 6, and 7 Chevrolets, which are iconic automobiles, and the Mustang Corral, which is 64 to 94, Mustangs. Those are specific categories that we have at the event. The others follow most concourses. And I don't want to go into a huge dissertation about it, but if you come to the event, this year we've also decided to make it extremely reasonable for the general public because it's an educational process. A ticket is $24.95, and that covers both days. Saturday and Sunday, and free parking. I don't know if you're familiar 
with Tampa Bay Downs as a venue, but they have a paved parking lot that will accommodate 5,000 cars. I hope we have overflow at this year's event. And we staged the event on a beautiful grass area that is just south of the first turn of the racetrack. So it's a perfect venue. It has all the infrastructure anyone could ask. And basically, that's it. So I, I, are there any questions? I'll field the office for questions. If there aren't any questions, I certainly hope that you'll check us out on social media. Our website is CigarCityConcourse.com. Concourse is spelled without an E on the end. So it's French. So, and we're all over social media, Facebook, you name it, we're out there. So we'd love to promote the event. We'd love to have you there. We have some magnificent automobiles that have already signed up for this year's event. And we'll see you in November. Oh, one quick thing before I forget. The Clearwater Historical Society, we put up here a list of their upcoming events. Excuse me. They are all free to the public with the exception of the two French, uh, fish frogs. And get there before me because I love fish. So that's, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. Again, I want to thank the Historical Society for inviting me and thank the Tampa Bay Auto Museum for making that suggestion. Thank you.